welcome back to my channel for another video. Today is going to be, well, okay, so I think I might want to do a mini series here on this channel about my new year resolutions that my last video was about. If you didn't see that one, I'll link it down below in the description box, but basically, I have a couple resolutions for this year and I broke them down into a couple different categories and I think that I'm going to do a couple different videos that have to do with each one of those categories. Starting with devotions, that's number one, that was number one on my resolution list for this year and I figured I would just share with you guys what my daily devotion routine looks like. I don't know what you guys do for devotions, if you do devotions, if you're a person of faith like I am. Um, but if you are, I hope this video speaks to you and that you can maybe take some pieces away from this to incorporate in your devotions. But I would like to know what you guys do for devotions so that I can try to incorporate some of those things in my devotion routine. So leave your comments below for me to check out and let's get to the video. Normally when I get everything set up for doing my devotions, the one thing that I will actually make sure to do is get my playlist up and I turn on this new playlist that I found on Spotify for devotions. I really like to have this playlist on in the background while I do my Bible reading. I love that playlist. I highly recommend it if you guys have Spotify. After I turn that on, then that's when I'll go ahead and I'll turn my phone on to do not disturb mode because I will get distracted. Just fight a little longer, my friend. It's all worth it in the end. And when you've got nobody to turn to, just hold on and I'll find you. I'll find you, I'll find you Just hold on and I'll find you I've walked among the shadows You wiped my tears away I felt the pain of heartbreak I've seen the brightest day I've prayed prayers to heaven from my low so when I start doing my devotions, I start reading in Genesis because I'm attempting to read the Bible the whole way through, only at a chapter of time. So it's not like a yearly commitment that I want to read the Bible in a year, although I do want to do that at some point in my life, just it's not the right timing for me to do that right now. And so right now I'm still in Genesis. So I read one chapter in Genesis and I read one chapter of Proverbs. And Proverbs is a book of the Bible that I always find inspirational and it has 31 chapters in it, so it's perfect for for daily devotions during the month and then when you get to the end of the month I just restart so I always read something from Proverbs no matter what month of the year I'm in but there's always something different that speaks to me each time I read that chapter of Proverbs and I have my little highlighters they're actually colored pencils but I don't like highlighters for Bible pages because highlighters bleed through them so I like to use my colored pencils if I find a verse that particularly speaks to me that day so after I'm done reading my two chapters of the Bible, I go ahead and I move to my devotion books. I'm just going to take a minute just to show you the books that I have. So this one my parents just recently got me. It's The Hand That Rocks the Cradle and it's a really well-made devotional book. So it's an older one, but I actually really like it. It's very simplistic, but the writers are really down to earth and they're just so... I don't know, it's really hard to explain. Okay, so for example, all you mamas out there, you'll appreciate this. This devotion was called Baby Blues. At the bottom of the page, it says, Baby Blues are the result of hormonal changes in a tired body and mind. To be crying, and you don't know why, when you should be smiling, is a helpless, frustrating feeling. Don't worry, this should pass in several days. You are quite normal. It speaks to where you are in life as a mom through the stages of having a baby. I really like it. The only thing that I say I don't particularly like about it is that on the opposite page, there's normally a Bible verse or a section of the Bible to read along with it. And it has it written down in here, but it's in the King James Version. And I don't understand that version of the Bible very well. It's hard to read and it's really hard for me to understand and I just get overwhelmed so I just end up not reading that. But so sometimes when I'm reading this, I'll go back in and search for that chapter of the Bible in my Bible and read it through my English Standard Version. That's my favorite version of the Bible, by the way. And then the other devotional book that I got, uh, a sweet lady at my church actually gave this to me, is Be Still. 
an encouragement for mom's devotional and she said I got this and I thought of you and I was like oh that's so sweet I actually really like this one it's from the makers of our daily bread I believe yeah it's really nice. It has a devotional on one side and then a scripture reading on the other side. I like this one too. I don't know which one. I don't know. I would assume that I would like a lot of mommy devotionals. So I'm actually really excited to see what other devotionals are out there. Once I finish these, I'm going to get more. And I recently added books like this into my devotion routine. I did not used to do that. I would do the bare minimum because I just felt like I needed to do my devotions, but I didn't feel like it. So I just wanted to do the bare minimum to get done and say that mm, it did my devotions, got my God time in today, I'm good to go. No, now I actually want to do my devotions and I feel led to do my devotions. These devotional books definitely, definitely hit the mark when it comes to helping me feel fulfilled after doing my devotions. And after I'm done reading the devotional books, I will go ahead and get out my notebook and start writing down my prayer. I mentioned before that I like to journal my prayers, kind of like I'm journaling to God, but I also saw somewhere that you need to brain dump every day. Like it's really helpful for you as just a human being to write down your feelings or write down something, just brain dump on a piece of paper that apparently is supposed to be really good for your mental health. And so maybe that's why I really enjoy writing down my prayers. I don't know, but I don't do bullet points. I actually like write down a letter to God as a prayer. I don't know, I've always liked to do it. I, I've done it ever since I was probably in like elementary school or middle school, but I actually have some of my old prayer journals in my keepsake box. And it's really cool to go back and see. And like, I actually have one that I saw when I was going through my stuff that I saw one that said something about praying for Hunter because I think I really like him, like praying for him to be strong in his faith and I don't know, I just, I was praying for Hunter. Anytime I liked a guy, I would start praying for him. Uh, my parents taught me to do that. My dad's been praying for my husband since I was probably like two. So that's also another reason why I like to journal my prayers because it, I can go back to it and look at it later or it, when I pass on, my kids can look at it and see what I was going through every day during my life. So I really hope that I continue to journal my prayers to the day I die. Okay, that was really morbid. I just want to keep journaling my prayers. <laughs> Your God of the hills and valleys, hills and valleys, God of the hills. really think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. If there's something that you guys have a question for me about, please leave it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed watching what my devotion routine looks like on a daily basis and have a great rest of your week guys. I will see you next week. Actually, I think I might see you before next week if I do this as a mini series, but we shall see. So if not, I will see you next week for my next video, but it's possible I could see you before then. So. Stay tuned. Hit that bell notification to get notified. This is going on forever in a day, guys. Okay, I can't even think of what to say right now. A Bible reading and a devotional. Got out. Activia, like no what other. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Have a great rest. Rest. Blah, 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 blah. Have a great rest. Blah. Why can't I say that? Okay, side note, if y'all don't have Eddie Bauer socks, you need to get yourself a pair because like they're the most comfortable things in the entire world to have on your feet. So really, get some of these bad boys. They're like super fuzzy on the inside. Excellent comfort level. Ugh, it's heaven on your feet. Cheddar. You're so pretty. What are you doing? You're cute. Oh, I feel ya. Just hold